Did you know that, according to the National Safety Council, airway foreign bodies are the third most common cause of death due to unintentional injury in children younger than one year? Pediatric rigid bronchoscopy treats patients ranging from neonates to adolescents. In this chart, you will see the different sizes of bronch tubes and the associated inner and outer diameters, as well as the lengths. On the proximal end of the bronch tube, you will find the part number, size, and length. This information will assist your surgeon in choosing the correct tube. Due to these varying lengths of the bronch tubes, different bridges will be required to lock the telescope in place. With this bronch tube, we use the correct telescope bridge to connect a 1.9 millimeter telescope. Attach the bridge to the bronch tube so the notch on the distal end of the bridge aligns with the working channel of the bronch tube. Next, line up the zero indicator on the scope to the aligned notches on the locking collar of the telescope bridge. Once the telescope is inserted, lock the locking collar to secure the telescope. With the scope securely attached, let's now attach the Racine adapter. Next, attach the prismatic light deflector. Last but not least, attach the rubber instrument guide or adapter for jet ventilation by lining up the zeros. The Bronx tube has no open ports and is a closed system. Prior to the start of a case, make sure the correct telescope, telescope bridge, and forceps are pulled for the correct size of Bronx tube being used. The chart shows a quick reference guide in choosing telescopes, telescope bridges, and forceps related to the diameters and lengths of the bronch tubes. There are two types of bronchoscopy forceps, optical and non-optical. The optical forceps are preferred as they allow endoscopic visualization of the tip of the forceps. This is the rigid double action non-optical forceps for biopsy. This is the optical version of biopsy forceps. Again, connect the telescope to the optical forceps by lining up the zero of the telescope to the lined up notches on the locking collar. Turn the locking collar to secure the telescope in the optical forceps. Up until now, optical forceps could only be used in older children with size 3.5 and larger tubes. Premature and neonates could only be treated with non-optical forceps. That has now changed with a new miniature optical forceps which fit the size 2.5 and 3 tubes. This has been made a reality with the Carl Stortz 1.3 millimeter semi-rigid telescope. Now you should have an understanding on how to assemble a pediatric bronc tube. This guide can aid in connecting the correct telescopes, bridges, and adapters for the varying bronc tubes. We recommend having this chart available for your bronchoscopy cases. If following this video presentation, you have any further questions, please contact your local Carl Schwartz representative.